Am I the a-hole for not telling my best friend that his girlfriend was cheating on him? Oh, this is a mess. ago I went on reddit and I decided to read some am I the a-hole confessions if you don't know what that is it's basically a subreddit where people post their stories or scenarios where they're not really sure if they were the a-hole in the situation or not I recently got a comment saying that I should do the exact same thing but with your confessions and honestly when I first saw it I was like um no I shouldn't because I, I just feel like when it comes to your guys confessions they're always so scary and then it makes me think like is this who we are no shame though <laughs> No, but usually when it comes to reading your guys' confessions, I'm scared. And for this video, once again, I am scared, but I'm doing it anyway because it's a democracy. If you guys want it, I'll do it. I really have no control over this channel. This is your channel. Welcome to it. Basically, I asked you guys to tell me about a time where you were unsure whether you were the a-hole in the situation or not, and I will judge you. I'm literally just gonna let Google generate a random number, and we're just gonna read them. We're just gonna hop into it. I'm scared. I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, so me and this girl have been best friends for three years now and we had a nickname for each other We were being quite flirty and we even called each other mommy and daddy sometimes like we were that type of friendship a year ago She told me that she had this little secret and I was really curious what it could be normally She would tell me her secrets, but this one was kept to herself We carried on talking over discord and stuff when she said she was ready to tell me the secret She began telling me she had feelings for me I was a bit confused as to why she had a crush on me because I thought we were just really close friends Basically, I told her that I was more attracted to boys and that girls were still in the question however I just prefer men and that I didn't see anything romantic between us so she was really upset move forward a few months again like we always did I kept being flirty and we continued our normal friendship on Valentine's Day I was talking about who was going to be her Valentine's and if she had anyone lined up she began asking me whether I wanted to be her Valentine's even though I said months previous that there was nothing romantic between us was it my fault that I kept having flirty conversations with her and as someone may say later on am I the a-hole um, I'm still stuck on the that type of friendship where we're calling each other mommy and daddy. In my long 20 years of life, I've never had that type of friendship where I'm calling my friends. Actually, no, I do call my friends mommy, but like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever really had... Uh, okay, let, let, me re let me rephrase that. From what you're describing, I do feel like anyone could have picked up on the fact that she was into you. But also, I, I don't think you were leading her on because if that was the nature of your friendship where you guys are just very flirty if that's what the friendship was and that's what it was and you guys established that you were friends so her developing feelings for you even after you were very clear about how you felt towards her and the friendship it's not really your fault however moving forward I, I don't think you should continue mommy daddy friendships with people that are really into you at least I, I wouldn't. I just feel like if I had a crush on somebody and he kept calling me mommy, I don't think that would make me feel less. I would feel a lot more. Um, I, I would feel a substantial amount more, actually. But no, I, I don't think you're the a-hole in the situation. That is my final verdict, not the a-hole. Okay, y'all know that I am the biggest sister stan to ever exist and my girl is finally going on tour and guess what y'all? She's coming to Canada. Obviously, I had to secure a spot. Y'all know how I be. And if you guys want to go see your favorite artists, you can go to SeatGeek for the best deals. When you go on the app, they like color coordinate for you. So if you see green, you know you're getting a good deal. And if you see red, it's a bad deal. Like they do the math for you basically. And y'all know how I get with math. Every ticket is backed by their buyer's guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site where you can get a refund. And usually I do like to gatekeep but I had to come through for y'all so you can use my code Deb for $20 off of your tickets at Seeky. Make sure you guys go ahead and click the link in my description box to download the app and I better see y'all at these concerts turning up. Enjoy the video! <laughs> for not telling my best friend that his girlfriend was cheating on him. About a year ago, my buddy started dating this girl that was new to her school. She was pretty chill, but one red flag I saw was that she was a huge flirt. She would ask for my number and text me at like midnight while they were together. I tried not to engage because obviously she was dating my best friend. One day I saw her at a football game. Keep in mind, me and my friend are both in the band, so we didn't know what was happening. And my girlfriend saw her with another dude. This dude did not have the best reputation. Anyways, my girlfriend said they left together and she posted on her private snap story a picture 
of them like all over each other. My friend really liked her and I didn't want him to get hurt. Am I the a-hole for not telling him about it? It's definitely a difficult situation because you don't want to be the person to deliver that news. But also, if it were you and you were dating a huge red flag and other people saw it, you would want them to tell you too. I hope this is past tense and it's all like in the past, roll over it. But if this is a current situation, it's just very unfortunate. Is that an option? Can I say that? I'm gonna make that a new tier. It's very unfortunate. That is when I'm assigning the situation. I'm gonna say yes, you kind of are. I just know anybody would want that information to be given to them, which I know is uncomfortable and I know it's weird and awkward, but this is something that you should tell someone, especially your best friend. If this was kind of like an acquaintance or somebody you weren't really close with, then that kind of changes things, but this is your very best friend and he's dating a red flag, flirting with people, texting you at midnight, girl. If you don't tell that bestie what's going on, I will tell them myself, number 5,608. guy I have a home a job and support myself completely last Thanksgiving I went to a picnic with all my family for a reunion when I arrived my grandma told me I needed to sit at the kids table since I wasn't married and didn't have kids I told her that was ridiculous and I rightfully earned my spot at the adults table however she refused so I smashed all the bottles of beer I brought and stormed out of the house am I the a-hole <laughs> <laughs> Reaction. I'm gonna dissect this one at a time. Okay, I'm gonna dissect this first part. I don't know why she thought she ate with that statement. I'm sorry. The amount of people that have children and are kids themselves, a lot of adults don't have kids. A lot of adults can't have kids or they simply don't want to get married. So I don't know who told her that as soon as you give birth, you are now an adult. Now the second part with you smashing the bottles and walking out, it was definitely something. <laughs> um, and next time, maybe don't do that. I do understand you're, you're simply reacting to the scenario and that's very frustrating, but smashing all all the bottles of beer and storming out. <laughs> oh, well, that's just a little much. I feel bad, I'm sorry. I, I do get that though. The situation is very frustrating. You support yourself. Don't take grandma's words personally. I don't think you're the a-hole, but I do think we should work on that action reaction complex. Keep shining, baby girl. It's a 27 year old guy. I don't know why I'm calling you baby girl. Stay on the grind and stay away from that kid's table. <laughs> a-hole for not logging out of my ex subscriptions okay so <laughs> when me and my ex were dating she let me use her subscription for something and i had to log into her apple id to get it so i did then logged out once i got the app but since it's downloaded on her apple id whenever she renews the subscription it renews for me too so we broke up and it renewed the subscription then she texted me saying log out of my apple id me trying to be funny was like thank you <laughs> then said it automatically paid for i didn't log in then she wanted a screenshot and crop the part out and post it saying x really logged into Apple ID. With the part of me saying I didn't log in, cropped out with the audio. You what? Like it? You like it? The fuck is this with your broke ass? What? It, what? That's so people came for me in the comments calling me broke, and she knew damn well I didn't log in. And then she tried to make me log out, but I can't log out. I have to delete the whole app for it to come back to my Apple ID. And I said I'm not doing that. All my personal stuff are up in there and stuff I've been editing there. And if I delete it, it's all gonna be gone. So I didn't do it. And she's making people think I'm broke. Still ain't deleted. And what about it? <laughs> <laughs> this is petty, but Loki, I do the same thing because why are you taking a screenshot from our conversation, cropping it on purpose, and then posting it with the audio and trying to make me look? Yeah, she knows what she's doing. Knowing me, I try and be funny and say the same thing, and I can see myself being in the same situation. And I know those comments were ruthless because people in the comments on TikTok will actually chew you up. I would not want to lie either, but it's probably like the right thing to do. That whole Apple subscription situation is probably gonna go on for a very long time until you log out. So at this point, I just log out and forget about it because she's obviously being affected by it, but I don't think you're the a-hole situation. I think your ex is. <laughs> So sorry this is long don't apologize it's okay so basically i've got this group of friends i only like one of them <laughs> and basically they never invited me to anything and would actually change hangout dates without telling me i was basically the girl who always walks behind on the sidewalk at one point i just snapped and realized how badly they were treating me so i posted on snap about it without mentioning their name but they figured it out and got really angry at me for not telling them sooner even though they literally had a whole separate group chat without me and no one ever talked to me and then one of the little demons texted me 
saying that I was just overreacting and basically trying to gaslight me into feeling guilty. So I blocked her, as you should. Now they all hate me and I only speak to the nice ones. So am I the a-hole for not directly confronting them? Not everybody is confrontational. And also you posting on Snap, but without mentioning their names, I know may sound petty, but also I'm like, you could have easily name dropped and dragged them. And their response to that is getting mad at you for not telling you sooner. They had a whole group chat without you. They purposely excluded you and they never talked to you. And the time you stood up for yourself and posted about it without even mentioning their names, they're getting mad because you didn't say it soon enough. Was there like a time like, Aww, you said it past 12. If someone ever told me that they were upset with the way I was treating them, I really wouldn't put too much concern on the timing in which they told me. It's more of like, how are you treating this person? That should be where the focus is. And obviously it's not with your friends. I definitely don't think you are. And I'm happy you stood up for yourself. Also, I liked how when they tried to gaslight you, you just pressed the block button. Cause honestly, I'm at that point right now. I think this is mature though. Like you're protecting your peace and you obviously were able to identify when your friends weren't your friends anymore. So I'm happy you got rid of them and I hope you have better friends now. <laughs> So a few months ago, I had a Tinder date with this guy I matched with. We went to a nice restaurant and on the way back to his house, he told me to drive because he wasn't feeling well. About halfway back, he told me he needed to use the bathroom immediately. <laughs> I'm scared. We were on a side road in the middle of nowhere and there was nowhere to stop. I frantically tried to find a bathroom, but then he told me he couldn't wait any longer and literally went on the seat. I kicked him out of my car and later returned to his house and made him pay for his seat replacement. Am I the a-hole for making him pay? Okay, these situations situations are so like they're always so complex that's why whenever I do y'all's confessions I'm always like I don't know what to feel or how to act because there's just so much tea I don't think you're the a-hole for making him pay because you know that is his mess but I do kind of feel like it's a little a-holy to kick him out of your car because I'm like what if he had like a medical condition and he like literally could not hold it I know the situation sucks and I'm always like thinking about both sides, which is annoying, but like you're on a date, he's interested in you, you're interested in him. I'm pretty sure him going to the bathroom on your car seat was the last thing he wanted to do. Maybe on the date he ate some really bad food or he had an obstructed bowel, I don't know. I don't think you should have kicked him out of the car though. I know that's frustrating and I know if that happened to me, like my new car, I'd be very annoyed. But also, he probably did not want to do that either and he's probably so embarrassed. So like to kick him out of the car is just like a little mean. I don't know, we're gonna subdivide this. No, you're not the a-hole for making him pay you are the a-hole for kicking him out of your car i just feel like that's me like i don't know or maybe i just need more context i find with these stories i am always reading into the both sides too much when i don't have enough context <laughs> for telling all the women that my friend dates that he changes his personality and interests to become closer with that girl. The first time it happened was with the girl that was really into K-pop and my friend knew literally nothing about it and even actively avoided it because it doesn't suit their music taste. However, tell me why the next week suddenly he's talking to her all about BTS and the songs from them that he listens to, even though he only got into it that same week. The second girl was someone he dated online, which is already kind of iffy, but they've seen each other in real life. They both really liked anime, but the girl was very clingy and valued quality time a lot. He he eventually ghosted and even tried cutting some of us off because of how much time he wanted to spend with her. We ended up telling this girl that he isn't usually like this and that he did a whole 180 with his personality. He eventually fell out of love with her because he was tired of being so fake. The last girl he dated, which was recent, was basically just used as a coping mechanism from his last relationship and he realized this so he didn't tell his new girl about his past two failed relationships. Oh, this is a mouthful. They eventually got to a point where they were taking a break so I decided to be the better person and spill all the tea about him and his whole personality switching ordeal. Me telling her her this convinced her to break up with him but he was still trying to get with other girls and he will probably do the same thing to them am i the a-hole if i tell any new girls that he dates about his past oh my gosh these are Ugh. This is definitely a situation. I feel like I keep saying that after each confession. I'm a little iffy on the whole telling girls about his past because I don't really know if that's like your place to do that. If I was a messy person and my best friend told somebody that I was involved with about my past, I wouldn't really like that. But it depends on how genuine it is because if your best friend genuinely wants the best for you and wants you to just focus on yourself, then I get why they're telling other people. And I feel like you're doing that to protect your best friend's peace and also the girl's peace that he's involving himself with because clearly the situations have been very messy and the coping mechanisms and the fake K-pop stand and the anime thing, it's getting out of hand. I would definitely talk to your best friend though instead of focusing on the girls he's dating 
How is he doing? This is really hard for me. I'm gonna say you're not the a-hole in the situation because I genuinely think you're looking out for your friend and you want the best for your friend. And if you guys disagree with me, I understand because I don't even know if I agree with me. <laughs> gonna get right to it okay as you should my she's 25 and she's a female boyfriend likes to be called daddy in bed while we're being intimate i've obliged this request but it's starting to creep me out and i've decided i don't want to do it anymore he is not happy with this and insists it has nothing to do with the connotation of the word he just simply enjoys hearing me say it since he wasn't budging on the issue i told him i'd like for him to call me grandma in bed as a compromise. He didn't like this option and said it was giving him visuals he would prefer not to have. Like, okay, join the f club. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the last time he tried to initiate intimacy with me, I started to refer to myself as grandma in the third person. Do you like when grandma does that? And he flew off the handle, said I ruined the mood, made him feel gross, and I was being ridiculous. I think I proved my point, but he thinks I'm being an a-hole. So what do you think, Deb? I think this was a roller coaster. That That's what I think. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> there are so many words to use when you're being intimate. I'm sure we could have found a substitute for daddy. I don't know why he was so strict on that. Now, you referring to yourself as grandma and third person while being intimate girl you're definitely trifling but unfortunately i would do the exact same thing and i'm the exact same way i feel like i'm reading my own autobiography like i feel like this would happen to me or it's gonna happen to me at some point me personally i don't think you're being gross or ridiculous because you told him how the whole daddy thing was weird and he didn't get that so you put it into perspective and you started referring yourself as grandma i would do the same thing i think you definitely proved your point and honestly if you're watching this please comment down below because you sound like a fun time i feel like we'd be friends i don't even know if this was like a am i the a-hole situation type beat but just to keep the theme of the video. I, I don't think you are. You are not. I think you're talented. I think you're brilliant. I think you're smart. I think you're amazing. I think you're phenomenal. And I think we need to be besties because you're also hilarious and I would do the same thing if someone was trying to get me to call him daddy and I didn't like it. Can I still refer to myself as Grandma Deb? I liked it. It was cute. Y'all better not be saying that when you're getting intimate. Ugh, okay. That was definitely... It was something. I, I just knew they were gonna be harder for me to decipher whether you were the a-hole in the situation or not. The situations and the scenarios are always like, you guys have my mind in all different directions and I never know like if I agree or if I disagree and I'm like trying to see both sides and it's just, it's a lot and my little brain cannot take it. I feel like for these answers, I was very much in the middle. I think I made a whole new tier. Don't know what that was about. I'm sorry for being wishy-washy in most of these or being in like the gray zone or in between. I don't know, you guys give me hard situations so I probably did not give good answers for any of these so comment your thoughts feelings and opinions or the numbers at the back of your credit card and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>